What is up guys? If you can't tell, I'm really excited today. Today is a huge day. Today is the day that we take this engine and drop it off at the machine shop. It's going to Van Industries. Van Industries does great work. They have an engine they have an engine dyno that they do a lot of work on too. So once the engine's built, they will actually run it and get it all seated and prepped so that there's no issues with it. They're gonna be doing a lot of specific work that I want done to the engine. They're not gonna be boring out the block though because I'm, I didn't want that to happen. But big reason why I'm excited, I have been waiting to do this part of the project for a little under a year. For those of you that don't know or don't remember, this car's engine blew up a little over a year ago. The engine is still in the car and I figured rather than rebuild a blown engine that has a little over 170,000 miles on it, I got a younger engine and I am going to use that as my starting point. But I've been really meticulous about each step of the process. I've been really meticulous about each piece that is going in this engine. I've literally read, researched, talked to people, and this engine, if everything goes the way it's supposed to, is supposed to be putting down some serious numbers. But, as I said, today is only step one to the process. I did also, if you read the title, it says, how much did the engine build costs. You guys are going to get that whole price breakdown of how much it costs to build this specific engine. And I'll be giving you guys the whole layout of it after we take the engine to the machine shop and get back. Right now I'm just waiting on my friend Jordan. We're going to use his truck, load it up, and then we're going to be out and on the road. Once we drop it off, I'll give you guys those numbers. If you're wondering where Felicia is, she's in the house getting ready. Yes, you know, like I can't do the video without Felicia. She gets mad anytime. So, that being said, let's get this engine loaded. And they have Felicia and they never see me naked, but my nuts might be there. <laughs> 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 the ground. That's all I know. For those of you about to make a joke or a comment about they're stupid for lifting that engine with their hands, we didn't have a choice. Damn hoist broke. As soon as we wanted to try and lift it, the hydraulic pin that locks it in place so that it doesn't let any of the pressure out, snapped. So basically, no matter how much we pumped it, the damn chain and the damn crane didn't come up. So we had no choice but to actually lift that thing by hand. That being said, now we're on the road. All right, we are officially on the way. Got to thank, uh, thank Mr. Jordan for, you know, loaning his Tacoma. I still kind of want one, but Felicia, Felicia's still shooting that idea down. But we're on our way. It should only take us about another five minutes to get there, drop this engine off, and then the main part of the first project is done. Then I just have to do little check-ins to make sure they're doing it the way I want. But again, thanks to Mr. Jordan. Felicia and Steve are following way back there. Probably having too much fun. I know. I let. I told Felicia to drive my car, but... Steve just decided to dive into the driving seat, <laughs> into the driver's seat. So, as long as my car makes it to the makes it to where we're going, I'm fine. I know Steve knows how to drive, but the bastard snuck into the stuck into the driver's seat. But it's all good. We should be there in a few minutes. This is probably like one of the biggest steps for the car, though. Like the engine blew up a year ago, and it's just been sitting because I've been taking my time picking one piece at a time. Okay, oh yeah. yeah to buy all that at once, it'd be quite the, uh, the expense. Yeah, like the big, the bigger issue was just the fact that my, my first plan was to buy a built engine or buy like a built, a built lower up half and built heads and then just put it together and put it in. But the amount of money I would have had to spend all at once, it would have been like, it would have been such an undertaking just yeah. with paying bills and everything else, but doing it this way. Dude, I feel like you get everything that you want. Like, yeah. instead of buying an already built motor, you know exactly what you want. You're getting exactly what you wanted in that motor. Exactly, and I know every I know every piece yeah. that's in it, so... it. I mean, it's more personal rather than just buying something that anybody can yeah, buy. Yeah, exactly. This is what happens when you let the white boys steal your car. Yeah, son. <laughs> it actually fits you, dude. I can see the city. Yeah, that's, that's How was the experience? 
you know what I'm saying? Just glad to be here. <laughs> Got JC on my side. Oh my god. <laughs> Appreciate you boys coming yeah, through man. with us. Dude, dude. dude I, I'm like sitting there trying to turn the car on, and I'm like, you know, the clutch is in. I'm like, I'm not hitting something. She's like, you broke it already. And I was like, wait, and I'm like, starting to sweat. No, I got a fucking cramp in my leg and finally got the clutch down. I was like, oh, she's stiff. She's like, stiff. <laughs> right like, You're riding though, bro. Bro, it feels fucking. Once I felt that, you had to like get it down in there. Did you did you feel the turbo kick in? No, I kept. We it not, you guys weren't going fast enough. No, I kept it below three grand the whole time. I, I ain't beating on nobody's car. All right, and just like that, one of the biggest days is out of the way. But like I promised you guys, I'm going to give you a quick summary of how much everything costs. Math that I'm going to be giving you guys is not counting shipping, not counting any machine work. This is literally just parts for rebuilding the engine the way that I did. And I actually have no idea how much it was. So what I'm going to have Felicia do is I'm going to run off all the prices and she's just going to do basic math. And then once it's all said and done, she'll give you the total. Now, as I said in the beginning of the video, my engine blew. So I actually had to buy a new engine to start this whole project. So the first math was right off the rip, 1995. I knew what my project was going to be. I did all my research and everything for that. So then from 1995, I ordered my cams because I wanted 264s. They were 395 each. My springs were 350. My retainers were 648. My valves were 648. Those were both made by Tomei. The springs were also by Tomei. The rods were by Eagle. They were $5.98. You got the valves and the retainers both $6.48, right? Yeah, $6.48. Plus two? Times two? $6.48 and $6.48. Good job. All right. The pistons were $7.95. The piston rings were $1.29. The pistons were made by Wiseco. I did a custom $9.51 compression to bring it down, but not like stupid low. Um, ACL race bearings, I had to get those twice. They were 78. Could we have the, 78 plus 78. 78 plus 78. Um, valve seals, they were $35. The gasket kit was 200. The kinetics intake manifold, because I replaced the top manifold with the kinetics intake manifold, that was 758. Uh, lightweight pulleys for the front of the engine, those were 85. The Kometic head gasket was 178. L19 head studs rated up to around 700 horsepower. They were 584. The new hoses were 195 and the valve guides were 168. All that is the numbers of the parts that I bought. If you're looking for them, you might find them higher or lower. You might be able to find deals. I know Z1 does a rebuild kit that includes some of these parts that um, you don't, that they, you get a lower price for buying all of it together. But all together, the grand total for that whole rebuild was $79.17. So $7,917. $7, that's not counting shipping and that's not counting the price of the machine work that's going to be getting done. The engine's gonna be getting decked, honed. It's not being bored out, but it is gonna be getting cleaned out. I am gonna be having the lower intake ported and the heads and rudders are all gonna be redone as well. But So this doesn't include them actually working on your engine? Not yet, no. Okay. That price, the reason why I didn't include that price and the price to rebuild the engine is the price from the people doing my work is gonna be completely different depending on where you go. So like if the machine shop by you could be cheaper, it could be more expensive. So. I literally gave out just part prices. And I, what I didn't do the first time, and I sh should have done, I'm gonna run through it really quickly. The cams were made by Tomei, the springs, valves, and retainers were all made by Tomei. The rods were by Eagle, the pistons were by Wiseco, the piston rings were by Wiseco, the, race ba the bearings, all of them were by ACL. Uh, Z1 did the valve seals, the gasket kit was OEM, 
the, the intake manifold was by Kinetics. The new engine I got that from Use JDM. They uh, import engines from Japan with really, really low miles. I wanted to get an, an engine with lower miles rather than trying to rebuild one that had over 160 on it. Um, the lightweight pulleys, I got those from EM USA. They're the, uh, they're the, the uh, still in underdrive pulleys. The, gas, the head gas goes by Cometics. The um, head styles were by APR. The hoses were, by, were made by Z1 and the valve guides were bronze and they were also done by Z1. That way you guys know the, uh, not only how much I paid for it, but you guys also know the brand because I know that depending on the cams you get, you can spend a lot more or you can spend a lot less. It all depends on what you want. But the prices that I gave were the middle ground prices of those parts. So I actually looked up each price didn't go based off of how much I specifically could have paid for it, but I, I priced out the way you would find it if you looked up that one thing. So if you want Tomei's valves, they'll be two, they'll be uh, 648. If you want Tomei's retainers, they'll be 648. If you want their cams, they're 395 for one set of cams, which is intake, and then one set of cams, which would be exhaust. So that the way that math works out, that's what you can expect to pay a little bit over, a little bit under. But that's the wrap up for all that. We got the engine dropped off at the machine shop. We got all these. Yes. Now, all the parts that I just listed out, if you're wondering why I'm sitting in front of a bunch of boxes, this is all of that stuff. So now I have to load all this stuff into the car and systematically take it to the machine shop as they say that they need it. Like obviously they need to check all the clearances, so they're going to need the pistons, they're going to need the cams. But once the engine and everything is cleaned and ready, I will start running this stuff over to them and then they will be able to install it. Usually I would install the stuff, but they actually have a, an engine dyno there. So I'm gonna let them completely install it and run it and make sure everything is seated and sealed because if they run into any issues, they can't give the engine back to me unless it's running. If they were just gonna assemble it and give it to me, I might as well do that. But since they have the engine dyno, that's what I'm gonna let them do. So all of these parts from the pistons to the retainers and springs to the cams, everything should be in and I should have my engine back and running no later than hopefully the end of October. That being said, hope this was somewhat of informational and you guys got to enjoy seeing my friends and everything around. If you guys want to follow the build closely, you can follow the channel that me and Felicia share, which is car couple underscore ZG and you'll be able to see the step-by-step -step process of the parts that come in for her and us putting them on, the parts that come in for me. And other than that, just hit that like button, click it, subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next thing.